Hey guys, Bruce Weinstein with Cooking with Bruce and Mark. Today we're making chicharrone or pork rind coated fried chicken. So to make chicharrone or pork rind coated chicken thighs, first we have to make the coating. So we have bagged chicharrone, recipe called for three ounces. Also going to put in some plain unseasoned breadcrumbs. We have three tablespoons of those. We have a teaspoon of salt that's going on in, and we want some seasonings. So we're going to put in a half teaspoon each of garlic powder and hot cayenne pepper. In the food processor, we're just going to grind this up. We're just looking for these to be finely ground. Oh, so the chicharrone, it's just fried pork rinds. It is crunchy, it is fatty, it is delicious. It will give this chicken a coating that is gonna flavor like it was deep fried in lard. So what I like to do is take this coating and put it into a pie plate, and that'll make it super easy to coat these chicken thighs. But we need to have a liquid on the chicken thighs before they go into this, and for that, we're gonna use a couple of egg whites. So we have two egg whites, and we have three tablespoons of water, and I'm just gonna whisk that until they're combined. Okay, so I have boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And first, they're gonna go into the egg white mixture, and then they're going to go into the pork rind and breadcrumb mixture. This is going to basically give the chicken a new skin, which we will put in the air fryer, and it will just taste like we fried them in lard, but we're gonna air fry them. These are perfect and ready to go into the air fryer. My air fryer has been set at 375 degrees and I let it heat up. It's a good idea to let your air fryer heat up so that the hot air sets the coating right away and doesn't blow it all over the place. Now, a lot of times recipes call for you to spray food with the chicharrones or the pork rinds. We don't have to do that. There's enough fat that it'll cook beautifully. And we're gonna close it, let it go 14 minutes without disturbing. Before we check to see if these are done, don't forget to subscribe to Cooking with Bruce and Mark on YouTube and click below more info and you'll get this entire recipe. Oh, they're still sizzling and crispy and brown. If you find you need to go a little longer than 14 minutes to get this beautiful crunchy brown, it's okay to go a few more minutes. It'll depend on the moisture content of your chicharrones and your breadcrumbs and quite honestly, even of the brand of air fryer you're using. Despite having seasoned these with salt and cayenne and garlic powder, nothing beats a little more salt on any kind of fried chicken. This is some flaked Malden salt. And now the best part of doing this is the tasting of it. Whoa, a little extra salt. Mm. Fried chicken skin can often be a little too greasy, not get quite crispy enough everywhere. By using skinless thighs and using that panko and chicharrone coating, we have a uniform crispiness that is crunchy and delicious, just the right amount of oil without being too greasy. If you think you don't like fried chicken, try this. And if you love fried chicken, try this. Come back for more episodes of Cooking with Bruce and Mark on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. And we'll see you in the next time.